If you're looking at some pictures you've taken of a bright, clean sky in the desert, like these two birds, and you notice there's a weird smudge in an otherwise very clean and even background. First, go into Lightroom and crank the dehaze slider so you can see it more clearly. Enhance. Next, go look at some other pictures that you took around the same time and go find more bright and even backgrounds. And go hit them with the dehazer as well. If those smudges tend to line up over and over, real quick, move your Lightroom window around a little bit, just make sure it's not like on your computer screen. And if they move with that window, oops a daisy, you got shit on your sensor. You have two routes to go from here. A. Find a reputable shop nearby who has good reviews and does camera repair and they'll clean your sensor for you. This will cost you money, somewhere between $35 and $100 per camera, and you'll have to wait some amount of time to get it back, but they'll do a perfect job. Or B, go onto Amazon and buy one of these. It's a sensor cleaning kit that will cost you only $15 and a bit of terror the first time you do it. These will also do a perfect job, but you'll have to go through the trauma of reaching inside and directly making physical contact with your very expensive sensor. In my case, I have this Sony a7S III and that Sony a7 IV. Both with dirty, dirty sensors because I'm careless. I was out in the desert in Palm Springs last week and it became exceedingly clear that this needs to be addressed. So I'm going to address it for you too. If you go the do-it-yourself route, you're gonna to wanna to get the kit that's made for the size of the sensor that you have. This is full frame. These cameras are full frame. So if you have a crop sensor camera like the ZV-E10, get the APS-C kit. And that's because the little squeegees that come with it in here are the exact size of your sensor. So you don't have to wipe across the thing twice and have a seam in the middle. That seems like a bad idea. Am I doing that right, Tom Buck? If your camera is a DSLR, somewhere in the menu, there will be an option to lock up the mirror for cleaning so the sensor's exposed. And if you have the A7IV or the A7S III, go into the briefcase menu, find sensor cleaning under setup option. In the A7S III, it's right there in that list. With the a 7 4 you go one step further into the anti-dust function, and then your camera will ask you if you want to perform an auto image sensor cleaning. This will perform an auto clean of the sensor, which just means the sensor is going to vibrate back and forth using the IBIS and it's going to knock the dust off the sensor, or some of it at least. But the other thing this does is lock the IBIS once it's done until you turn your camera off. The A7S III tells you to follow the instructions in the manual for manual cleaning, but there are none. But what it does is that locks the sensor and then you can perform the cleaning yourself. So have your camera do the auto cleaning move and with the camera still on, that's when you grab your first swab from your cleaning kit. You're gonna rip one of these things open and without touching the cleaning side of it, you just wanna soak the little spongy end bits there. Then you're gonna do two strokes, one motion for each stroke. Starting on one side of your sensor, pull it over to the other side, then just lean it the other way and go back towards the way you started without lifting the thing off the sensor. Bonus points if you manage to get a human hair pull off there. That's it, now throw this thing away forever. You don't wanna reuse those. Quick note from the editor, I did this, but for some reason didn't film myself doing this or talk about doing this. But before you hit your camera with the little wipey, you're gonna wanna make sure that you take one of these little air poofs, turn the camera upside down and give it a couple of little blows. That way if there's any bigger junk or hairs inside there, usually those will get knocked loose. That's all, just one extra step. The cleaning liquid will quickly evaporate, so that's not a worry anymore. Some people go back over it with the dry one. You don't need to do that. You should just be good to go. If you have some sort of major problem, like I don't know, a gnat flew in there when you were changing lenses and then died on the sensor and it's just got a little sticky. Maybe a friend opened a Coke right next to you just as you popped off your lens. Then you may wanna repeat this process another time to get the rest of the residue off your sensor. Now your sensor is clean. You've got a new skill you can show to people and your pictures will be exactly 12% better than they were before. Even the composition. It's a little known fact. 